Hello, gonna have a quick look at the Leatherman Rev. Is this a good option? This model is still available, widely available. And one of Leatherman's cheaper options. These are, I've just had a quick look. I've had this for a number of years. I've just had a quick look. We're October 2023, and this seems to run between 55 and 60 quid in the UK to buy one of these. It's got a pretty decent, strong pocket clip. Uh, not the deepest pocket carry, the clip ends there. So this bit's gonna be peeping over your pocket but it's strong and it's detachable if you don't want it. So that's good. The only tool that opens from the outside is the knife blade. You've got a little notch there and you can not open it one handed. It's sort of, I'm a bit nervous. I'm gonna cut my thumb off doing that, especially considering that I'm left-handed. All of Leatherman's tools are designed for right-handed opening. That's no good to me as a left-hander. Thanks for nothing, guys. But yeah, the blade opens. It's the only tool to open from the outside. I'm not sure what that steel is, but it'll be some fairly bog standard, fairly relatively low grade steel. Blade length is about six centimeters, or sort of just under two and a half inches. This is a locking blade. So before I go any further, this is no good for me in the UK. For practical safety reasons, having a locking blade is brilliant. But we're not allowed to carry them in the UK in case we uh, use it as a weapon. So yeah, we're not allowed to have safe blades. We have to have slip joint blades under three inches. I can't carry this in public in the UK. The chances of actually getting stopped and searched by the popo are extremely low. But yeah, it's just not worth me taking the risk. All the other tools are accessed when the handles are opened. You've got a decent sized set of pliers there, kind of needle nose, uh, wire cutters, you know, all the standard bits in there, non-replaceable or anything, just a box standard pair of lower end Leatherman pliers. But you know, they're all right, aren't they? They're decent. Although, you know what I'm gonna say, don't you? They're nowhere near as good as the Knipex, which do go wider. You can apply more torque. These are just better. You can have this tool in one hand and another tool in another hand. Not the case with any Leatherman. You're just going to be using the pliers or the knife or the screwdrivers or whatever. Decent set of pliers, that's fine. Then what we got on this side? Can opener with a wire stripper, sharpened wire stripper there. That's good. You've got a file on this side and then a flat sort of pry bit here. Fairly useful or a flathead screwdriver there tiny file but you know you can use it and you've got a ruler on the other side well that's just uh, not that useful is it but they've put something on there so great might as well have it haven't you then the other tool there is a little box cutter or package opening blade to rip through clamshell packages stuff like that yeah why not have it there save your main blade from getting all mucked up on packing tape and stuff none of these uh, other tools on this side are locking it's just a, a like a slip joint mechanism there then on the other side, you get a couple of screwdrivers, large flathead, which is a fairly decent chunk of metal. You could probably use that for some quite light duty prying work with no problem, I should imagine. Then you got like a two and a half D Phillips screwdriver. This is okay, it works all right, not bad. Fair amount of length on it, but it's still too wide to get into some like kids toy compartments and stuff like that. But yeah, it's decent. Again, those tools on this side aren't locking either. So you get a, a, a fairly decent minimalist tool set on there. Stuff that's that's going to come in useful a lot of times. So yeah, that's all right, isn't it? I, but I don't know, I, I've really gone off the Leatherman concept at the moment. Yes, it's really good to have a little toolbox in one compact tool that you can clip to your trousers and have with you at all times but I just think there are better options. I've got this one weighing in at 168 grams versus a, a separate combo of we've got a pair of Knipex Cobra XS here and a Victorinox compact here 124 grams for those two. Swap the compact for a sportsman 113 grams so yeah quite a bit a few grams less weight in your pocket and you can separate them out into different places so it feels like you're carrying less bulk carrying two than just carrying one or a cobra xs and a victorinox cadet 106 grams these are 168 grams it's a fair little heft of 
metal in your pocket. Like I say, I can't like carrying two separate things. Grab your nut or bolt or whatever with this. On one side, you've got another hand's worth of tools here. Grab your, your turn your screw or whatever with the other bit or grab something with your pliers and pull it while the other side cuts. Yeah, it's just more versatile for me and cheaper. You can pick up a box standard Victorinox Sportsman with the red scales on Amazon for about 18 quid. The Knipex Cobra XS, I think I paid 20 quid for them. 40 quid, you've got a lighter, more versatile setup that's going to be sort of 20 quid cheaper than this heavier single unit option. Up to you guys, I don't know, what do you think? I think the Leatherman Rev is okay for a low cost multi-tool, but even if this was my favourite tool in the world, for me carrying it out in public, it would be a risk, because we're not allowed to carry locking blades. So yeah, this one doesn't really get used a lot at my house. But yeah, I just find the concept of Leatherman's a bit heavy. For me personally, I'd rather carry a little pair of Knipex and a, and a pocket knife as two separate items than, than a Leatherman, really. This is okay. I can't use it out and about because I live in the UK. Not Leatherman's fault, is it? But yeah, there you go. Any of you guys got these? Do you like it? Do you use it? See you later. Goodbye.